my name is Enoch, and it so happens that I run the music program here at iHuman Youth Society. What is iHuman Youth Society? Well, we are an arts-based organization that works with young people from the ages of 12 to 24, and we use all types of mediums to help the young people explore their creativity even further. Tuesday Night Tracks, of course, shows, showcases the musical artist, and it so happens that this episode is no different. I am excited to introduce this artist to you. I just got to know her, and I have fallen in love with her work. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentle bots, Mad John. Bobby puts out my braids and calls me names and these tokens of himself black and blue. It's just a little boy's old doom. Cause daddy told me where Old ID got the keys to his brand new set of wheels. Escape to damn, would you really be real? Cause then he told me where. Welcome to It's Been a Minute. We are here today with Matt John. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, <laughs> I guess there's not too much to tell. I'm just, I'm a young musician mm -hmm. who lives in Edmonton and mm -hmm. I'm a young mom. So that's a lot of my life is dedicated to my son and just raising him. But 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. What? <laughs> wow. He must get the best lullabies. Oh, he's and he uh, he's not even two yet, and we've started teaching him kindergarten music theory. So he's like his own little drum kit, and he can drum like on beat with a metronome, like a straight four four beat to his drum. Like, really? In time, oh, it's awesome, and he knows like how to say ta ta ti ti ta in like a four four beat. <laughs> like he's crazy. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. By the time he's like five years old, y'all are gonna have a band or something. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I get that too. Um, why do you make art? I honestly can't ever really, with music, remember a time where I didn't sing or do something. My mom told me I always started singing before I ever started to talk. And um, then I was just always in like choirs and everything. And then as I kind of got older and life starts getting harder and you start getting feelings and things you can't quite explain or mm. don't have channels for art and music as a whole became a really healthy outlet for me to be able to somewhat contextualize the things in life that I didn't have any other way of explaining right. and um, I also my junior high band teacher um, ended up being just one of the strongest role models in my life and she's like still one of my best friends to this day and really? um i spent every single lunch in junior high in her band class like learning a different instrument or doing something and it was just like that was my whole life and i guess it's just i i feel like i can't not do it <laughs> mm -hmm. i i hear that so what was your first instrument then my first instrument was the clarinet. Dang. Uh, yeah, because I got assigned the trumpet, mm -hmm. but my brother played trumpet and I hated how annoying it was. And I thought really? it was pretty cool that Squidward played the clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> From that moment on, I was a clarinet player and that's like what I did. I was like a classical musician for most of my life. So. Dang. Wow. best not to be so black and white Cause I know it can be one of my worst parts But moving on seems so fucking hard And I'll try and I'll try and I'll try To see where you could be coming Don't blame yourself, come stand so see you feeling down 
pretty girl now Not the type to be so pessimistic But darling, time you can't claim you didn't ask for it Cause you knew not to blame So come since you were feeling that You felt too pretty though and now your head Out of the clouds Someone recently asked me like what my goal with my music was and I had to like take a second to think mm. and I was like my goal is to make someone feel something. If mm. I can, like, with the music I make, if I can either explain a feeling they haven't been able to or just provoke something, like, if I can bring them in that state where, like, you know when you listen to a song and you're just entranced? Yeah, that yeah. If I can do that with my music, I'm accomplished. And if I right. can provoke any sort of feeling or emotion, I'm accomplished. So wow. that means a lot to hear that you'd say that about my music. Sunlight slices through the room It cuts and carves and weaves all throughout Wherever the crowd wants to Almost makes a hollow space feel kinda good Dust hangs heavy Clouds to light Casting a faded and weighted Piece together point of view Of whatever the hell we got up to last night Floating fragments going by Cause it's been a fine morning But it has me on edge Just waiting and wondering And watching for whatever the hell Anyone's gonna do next Another warm welcome home To this fine and plain and Heavy existence, fine morning But I'll be damned if it's the last Right 
Constantly, constantly. Um, I've learned that like very, if I'm trying to like force myself to sit down and write a song, like I won't be able to do it. I very much have to like, I, I don't, yeah, I can't like just choose to sit down and write a song. I have to f either feel inspired or feel in the moment. And there's constantly, especially because I don't know how to play the guitar, where I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I right. don't know any more chords. I don't know any more sounds. I don't right. know. Yeah, it's it's constant. And um, I lost someone who I considered a very big point of inspiration and just who I kind of credit a lot of, like, that. And so when I lost them for a few months, I just felt like I didn't even know what I was doing. I was so mm. out of touch with, I even all my own songs that I had already written, it felt like, I was like, who wrote these? Like, this did not come from my brain. Wow. And so I yeah. struggle with writer's block all the time. That's for sure. incredible. Jeez, okay, so how do you overcome it then? <sighs> Brainstorming, listening to music, or just like, I don't really. I'm like, okay, guess I'm not writing a song today. <laughs> and then right. that's pretty much it. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. It's very much waves. I also have really bad imposter syndrome still mm -hmm. with everything when it mm -hmm. comes to music. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't think I ever really get over it. I'm just, you know, every now and then it's like, oh, yeah, something happened. But I don't know how it, <laughs> how it happened. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. Oh, 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 oh,
like porcelain or it's whoa, hove into a warm, just like cashmere. Gather as much and as many as you may risk being all the four fools to mistake. The old beyond fields for a peaceful place to play. Bargain my. By temptation, what I've gained in honey, you can't swim. So I give an in. Give an in. A little lost in a drift. Use your To go ripple, scarf currents for the king. How do you blame the little girl who didn't know? Now I had to take a dance with the devil. I fallen in, never taught anything. I've to learn all my own lessons. What I've gained in honey, you can swim. So I've given in. Cause I found honey's too thick to swim. Tell the fine folk what else you have going on, you know, musically speaking, you know. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm currently working on recording an album. Hey, that that's so out. dope. I'm a fan. I'm already a fan. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, and then I also, I'm in the midst of working on, uh, uh, I'm a part of an all-female art collective and we're releasing a zine and oh. a music video Damn. and so we're working behind the scenes on that to start getting everything done so we can start posting about that soon. It's mm -hmm. called Sublime Intervention Collective. Sublime Intervention Collective. Yeah. That's dope. And, uh. Yeah, other than that, I guess I'm busking on White Ave all the time. So right. okay. <laughs> catch me on White Ave. Especially Dav. now that the weather is getting nicer. It's, oh, right? I'm out there every day now that the weather's nice. That's so so if you're ever on White Ave. <laughs> yeah, that's where you can be found. Exactly. I'm back in it. This place I swore I'd never be. It seems if I get bigger and longer. Empty 
And I couldn't care less anymore I know that good things are bound But my bones already feel so oh, brittle and sore A bag of bones is all I am It's quite like mine I'm starting to think That nothing about me Is really working quite right Right Granted with genuine grace Of genuine thrill My poor Obsessive, obsessive soul to rest is to ever learn how to settle in and heal. Pulsing beats, rosy cheeks, no way of looking at my activities. Pragmatically. Been in this body a while now Still don't think it's my ship to sink But I'll keep rolling with it a while Cause my heart and its pulse remain in sinking, 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 sinking Sink in, sink in, sink. I'm back in it. This place I swore I'd never be. Where am I going? You ask. Well, hell, the Lord don't even know. Sure, don't ask me. Yo. I don't know about you, but I am still blown away. If you would like to hear more of Mad John, if you happen to be in the city of Edmonton, you can catch her on White Ave and actually get to hear her live and in person. And if you're not in the city, well, you can follow us at iHuman. And we will definitely keep you posted. As she said, she's working on her album. And as soon as it's ready, we will let you know so you can cop it. I'm Enoch for Tuesday Night Tracks, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>